TWM podcast. your girl smiley and it's time for some smack talk running down all things from last night's smackdown live this is a tw podcast bring us in contact six days a week find us on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, i tune in pod youtube pretty much anywhere you can find podcasts you can find us twm podcast is brought to you by we love sports the fantastic app finding you your nearest spot bar showing the latest wwe pay-per-views even though you know you're not supposed it right now. Sports has over 400 of the best sports bars and pubs in the UK at your fifth and allows you to book front seats so you don't miss a thing. So when all this quarantine is over, you need to go ahead and go download the sports app on the App Store on a Google Play. Follow We Love Sports on all social media platforms at We Love K and check out We Love Sports. C. Also, go check out Wrestle Crate. You're not doing anything. We're recording. You're on your phone. You're not doing anything. So use the code TW Wrestling for a free autograph item when you sign up for a monthly box. Use the code TWM Wrestling at WrestleCrate.so.uk. And usually I have Reese here with me, but let's sit up today. My co host is me, my girl, the one, the only, Jessie! <laughs> I'm so excited. What a beautiful <laughs> intro. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe oh, they're God. letting us do this as well. That's the funniest bit. They're letting us take over. What are they doing? They messed up. What, what were they thinking by what letting us thinking? take over? <laughs> Oh, this should be interesting. Now, now SmackDown <laughs> Live last night. It's the, what is it? What, it's not the Go Home Show. This is not the Go Home Show. It's just, you know, the show before, you know, Money in the Bank's coming up. And as you know, the bank is not taking place at, supposed to be at? I don't forgot. <laughs> but Money in the Bank is going to be a big, huge cinematic universe. We're having it at the Hours in Connecticut, so this should be a thing, I guess, because apparently Money in the Bank is going to be on top of the <laughs> WWE headquarters I, in Connecticut know because, you know, because, you know, quarantine and all and virus and shut everything down, so this should be fun. With Daniel Bryan coming out, talking and uh, of course, uh, Corbin comes out, uh, stuck Brian with a ladder on the outside, and you know, via disqualification. Um, it was a good match. It was a good match. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm kind of liking Baron. Cole. Oh my god, what? D- 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 like d- d- Baron Corbin? The tiny. I d- I'm. I'm d- Oh, it's a little tiny bit. Like, I don't know if it's a quarantine or what. Yeah, I but I'm it's, it's, it's a quarantine getting to your head. It's a, it's a quarantine starting to get to my head. Just a little tiny bit. Like I'm starting, to, I'm starting to like King Corbin. It's a little tiny bit. I mean, eh, to be eh. fair, he is like such a good heel. Like he's one he of my really favorite heels. Is. Really, really good. And I do really. I don't I don't know. I have mixed opinions on him. I think in the ring wise I'm not the biggest fan of him, but you know, his character is absolutely brilliant. Yes, yes it is. Now King Corbin try uh took Daniel Bryan into the ring and tried to ensure the end of days onto a ladder, but Daniel Bryan was able to reverse it into the yes lock. Then out comes Cesaro and Shisuke Nakamura show up for the save. Allow Baron to bolt then Brian off the ramp into a pile of ladders, which I was just like, yeah! <laughs> like, oh God, come on. Watch his come on, come on, come on. You know, before that day, Brian cut a very passionate of being excited at the unique Money in the Bank challenge coming up at his headquarters, reminiscing on his 
because you know money in the bank win helped launch his career yada yada, yada you know it was all that it was it was okay it was like but i'm getting sick of the lackeys like shinsuke nakamura is not a lackey he is championship material and yet he's being just I, no i hate it he's just a backup dancer at the minute yes he is I, and i hate it it's just he deserves a lot better than that. But then saying that, so does Cesaro. Oh, Cesaro is definitely championship material and oh, should be 100%. champion soon. But whatever. Of course, he's the lackey right now. Even though I, I kind of missed the bar. Now that they, oh, you know, went yeah. their separate ways. Now they're trying to be single star. It's just like, it's not, I, I mean, it, oh. Cesaro should be top single star, but look at him now. Sad. It's really sad. And after that, we had Braun Strowman come out for a promo, but then Bray Wyatt interrupted from the Firefly Funhouse, and it was story time. <laughs> I actually got excited for it. Like as soon as he opened a book and said story time, I went crisscross applesauce sat on my chair. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually quite enjoying this. Like, you know, Braun Strowman, he gets a lot of rubbish like from a yeah. lot of people he gets a lot of hate but i'm actually quite enjoying this story between the like between both of them i, I do like you know where instead i do like them picking bray instead of the fiend because bray and braun have you know a history with them mm. being in the white family so it's just like ooh, everyone's just like oh why is it not the fiend i'm like because the fiend doesn't know braun Strowman. He knows Braun Strowman. So, would you put him against the Fiend, who has no idea where Braun Strowman is when you can put him with Bray, who, you know, they have a whole history. They had a whole strict thing going back then when they had the entire Wyatt family before they broke up. And at least, I'm not talk about that. <laughs> so, it was story time about the Black Sheep. Of course, was just a description of their past. Another in the Wyatt family, and Wyatt's demeanor was becoming more sinister upon closing said book, talking about creating a new ending for the shepherd and the sheep. John cut him off and told him to come to the ring, but Bray, however, just smiled and waved as it came, as the segment came to a close. Ah. He, do you know what Bray Wyatt never, never fails to impress me? That he is the character behind him. He's absolutely incredible. Absolutely, I loved it. I'm just like, <laughs> I, I just, I'm like, just give the universal title to Bray. Like, I'm still not. I'm still not okay with Braun being universal champion. It, how long did it take that man to become universal champion? Like. He won the Universal Championship because of a fluke. The top guy didn't want to be involved in the match. <laughs> That's the only reason why he won. That's the only reason why he won. It's. <sighs> but I hope, so, do you reckon then Money in the Bank Strowman's going to lose it back to him? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. No, I, I, I mean it'd be, it would be ni- it would be nice, but I know it's not going to happen. Because they're probably going to want to have Braun have a nice lengthy reign. And then when this virus is so, has somewhat over, they'll bring back Roman Reigns. But as of right now, yeah, <laughs> no, we're, we're stuck as Braun as Universal Champion. <laughs> so then we got Sheamus having another <laughs> jobber match. And I actually know the guy that he was wrestling. That is the one and only Leon Ruff. Follow him on Twitter. And I'm just like, oh God, they brought back Lee. I was like, oh God, Leon's going to get beat up again. I felt bad. I felt really, really bad. Do you know what? Uh, I feel bad for Seamus because I just feel like Seamus is completely just just getting completely mugged off, if I'm honest. How, like, how so? Like, I mean, if they don't have anything for the man. He's, like, Yeah, he's just, he's just being thrown into matches for, for nothing. It's good he's being used, of course, but the same time, give him something. I mean, I, obviously they are now because after the match, he was bullying Michael Cole yeah. and saying like, oh, Jeff Hardy's coming back next week. And I'm just like, huh, Seamus versus Jeff Hardy. I'd like that. Okay. I'd really I'm behind that. this. 
for, but I'm just like, what's the storyline behind this? Because you know, you guys know, like if you guys lately, they've been, you know, telling every week they've been telling a different story about the party, you know, how his return and you know his drug use, and I'm glad the man is happy, clean. <laughs> Because I was worried for a while. Yeah. God, I was worried. I was like, oh, God, going back down, having matter fighting. Like, this is not good. This is horrible. This is a bad idea. But I'm glad he's happy and he's clean. I like it. So hopefully next week. I'm just sad that Jeff's going to be coming out. Arena, empty performance center, no crowd. No crowd chanting deletes. It's just, ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate it. Ugh. It's just, it's just, it's still not nice with the no crowd. Like, it doesn't matter how much it continues. It's, it still doesn't feel better. <laughs> doesn't feel no. good at all. That Jeff Hard's gonna return. No crowd. Like, I don't, I don't. I'm still not okay with the no crowd thing. This whole entire coronavirus that just killed wrestling. But, ugh, I hate this. So. <laughs> Then we got another Money in the Bank qualifying match. We had Carmella versus Mandy Rose. And I was just like, ugh, I'm not going to lie. I was on my phone during this match. There's no black women in this match. So I was just like, whatever. I really don't care which one of these blondes are going to win next. Great, Jesse. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> okay, honestly I, the, don't get me wrong. I'm not a big Mandy Rose fan. Never have been. Carmella, I like Carmella. I think she's she's good. but. I didn't need one of these two in a Money in the Bank match. I didn't need it. Oh. How many more is Carmella going to be in? TWM podcasts are brought to you by We Love Sport. The fantastic app finding you your nearest sports bar showing the latest WWE pay-per-views. We Love Sport has over 400 of the best sports bars and pubs in the UK at your fingertips and allows you to book front row seats giving you the best views of the action. You can also check out what sports have been shown over the next seven days making sure you don't miss a second of the action. Download the We Love Sport app on the App Store or Google Play Store. Follow We Love Sport on all social media platforms at We Love Sport UK and check out We Love Sport TWM Podcasts have joined forces with WrestleCrate, the original and best monthly theme, monthly wrestling subscription service to bring you a fantastic deal. If you use the code TWM Wrestling when you sign up to a monthly subscription at WrestleCrate.co.uk, you will receive a free item in your first month's box. Then, if you stay for another month, you'll get a second free item. And then, if you stay for a third month, you guessed it, we'll give you a third free item. It's as easy as one, two, three. WrestleCrate brings you the best swag from the biggest companies and names in the wrestling world. We're talking t-shirts, photos, pins, DVDs, vinyl figures, and loads more from WWE, Progress, Shikara, NXT, Fight Club Pro, and loads more. That's WrestleCrate.co.uk and use the code TWM Wrestling for up to free, free items, all thanks to WrestleCrate and TWM. I mean, I was mad, you know, uh, you know, during this match, I was kind of mad. I'm just like, all right, we're not going to have like, no Naomi. We got not got no Sasha. Ember still injured. No, whatever. Like, I would Bianca, like, like, I would have oh, loved Bianca. And I was just like, okay, like just have no women of color in your match. But that's a whole different story. So I was just like, man, whatever. So, but I was just like, oh yeah. I was just like, in my head, I was just getting mad. But I was like, they're not gonna rest their health. That's a good thing. Let them be home. Let them be safe and quarantine. It was nice after the match because you know Carmella, you know, won. After that, out came Sonya Deville to appear on the ramp and started to distract Mandy. And as uh, Sonya is headed to the ring for you know to beat her up, uh, Mandy turned around into the kick from Carmella. Sonya hit the ring and began beating up Mandy Rose. And I'm just like, yes! <laughs> Snatch out her weave. Snatch out her weave because it's two different color blondes and it's killing me. <laughs> God, snatch it out of her head. Because whoever does her hair needs to be hit in the face. No, do you know what the, like, best, the best one was with me last year was when Becky had their odd extension colors. 
Do you remember that last year? Oh my god, I was just like, who does her hair? <laughs> who does your hair? <laughs> I can see your tracks. <laughs> your hair back. So- y'all need to go talk to Naya Bianca. It's obviously y'all don't know how to do your own weaves. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then after that, we had the Forgotten Sons versus the New Day. And I was just like, oh great. You put the Trump supporters with New Day. Fine. You guys did not watch NXT before the Forgotten Sons actually got the call up. A whole pick where they brought out a UK wrestler from NXT UK. One of them was Gibson, and everyone knows Gibson because everyone hates Gibson. And you take your shoe off if you hate Gibson. And trust me, everyone in the <laughs> in the arena here in Florida when they go when they record NXT, usually everyone takes off their shoe and you know says shoes off if you hate Gibson. So, <laughs> that whole stick they came out with a whole new for the Forgotten Sons. They came out in like gear that had the American flag on it and they were saying, oh, we're better than the UK because we're America. And I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> this is the whitest thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> what is this? Is this the thing now where I say America is better than the UK? I'm just like, have you been in the UK? The UK has universal health care. <laughs> you guys are idiots. And knowing that one of them is an absolute Trump supporter, like he's a huge Trump supporter. Sorry, allegedly. Allegedly. Just put that there. So so when I saw they got the call up and I was just like, oh God, no. No. You pick them? No. I don't like it. I'm still with the Forgotten Sons, especially them beating Uday, who are eight time team champions. You're really gonna have the Forgotten Sons? No. No. See, no. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of them either. I ju- I just don't really get it. Especially before the call up, they were doing that whole America's better than the UK thing. I was just not okay with it. I was just like, who thought of this? Oh, who decided? No, this is stupid. This is dumb. Not okay. No. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And of course, Miss and John Morrison were on commentary, so it was just it was it was the worst. It was just like, oh, God. Oh, I hate it. Well, after that, we had Tamina. She was interviewed backstage, and she said she refuses to be bullied, disrespectful, mean girls. Now, in my head, I was just like, part of Team Bad, but weren't y'all disrespectful, mean girls? I love Team Bad, but y'all were the same thing. <laughs> and then Sasha Banks showed up and tried to act nice towards Tamina. Nearly a distraction, so Bailey could attack her. The two were laying the beat down on Tamina. ECF and showed up, and I'm just like, "How? What? what? No, not you, Lacey. Get, no. Okay. Do you know what? No. I actually really like Tamina. I really like I love her. Tamina. But I'm like, where the hell did Lacey come from? <laughs> what does she have to do? She keeps sticking her nose and stuff that had nothing to do with her. <laughs> so I'm just like it has nothing to do with you, Lacey. Why are you here? I was just like, you couldn't have like I don't know someone else come in for the save. No, let's just have. And I was just like, Ugh. I want Lacey in that line, like. I'm just like, why, why? Uh, I don't understand. So then we had Otis versus Dolph Ziggler for oh. like the ten. 10- um, team time. Oh, I've had enough of it. Over this, I'm over this storyline. I just am. I'm, I'm over it. I should be happy because you know Otis is finally getting the girl, but I'm just over it. Well, I anymore. Tucker, so they completely, <laughs> they literally have been forgetting about Tucker. But I think you know because it, it it just depends who wants to be on TV and who doesn't want to be on TV because you know it risks your health. And Tucker has kids, so well he has a kid though. And I think because he has you know a kid and a wife, he probably wants to you know stay far away from being outside as possible. So it's just like all right, just stick. Mandy with Otis, and I'm still just like eh, happy because Otis got the girl, but 
I'm sick of Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. Like, I, I don't even know if I've just seen this same match now. I don't even know. And I think Otis as well being like in the Money in the Bank match, I, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's... A bit random. Oh, why Mustafa's not in it, but it's exactly. whatever. It's, it's whatever. It's... Do you know, I don't There's like, a lot of I'm people kind of who like should be in it. The... I like the Mandy Rose and the Sonya bit, but the Ziggler and the Otis bit I don't like. I mean, I love me some Dolph. I really do. Dolph is everything, but I'm, I'm over it. I'm over this whole thing. I'm over Dolph versus Otis. I'm just... Ugh, yeah. No. Nope, nope. And I think that was it to for SmackDown. I think that was the last match on SmackDown Live. So that was just okay, SmackDown Live. I'm like, all right, give me hype for Money in the Bank. I love Money in the Bank usually. And this time is going to be something cinematic because, you know, all the arenas down here in America because, you know, Paris is running rampant through states. So be. Interesting. I'm just like, all right, please be careful because it is on top of Titan Tower. It's gonna be, it's and, gonna be dangerous. Like they've got to start on the ground floor and go up. Just wondering who we're gonna see in I Titan would Towers. I'm just like, I would be so exhausted just getting up the top. Run through. You have to run through that entire building. That's a big, huge freaking yeah. building but I'm, what kind of things are we gonna see inside of titan towers like are we gonna like see like so cool so they're gonna throw like big balls at you are they gonna, gonna like spray you with water like is it an assault course what is it i just i don't get it oh maybe we'll see like red oh, are we gonna see like random superstars just <laughs> sitting in titan towers or are you gonna see I people want- sitting in their offices like <laughs> Oh, I wonder, are they going to bring back uh, the 24-7 champion right now and then have no. Truth win it during Money in the Bank? Like, <laughs> fine. Have Grok just sitting in Titan Towers. Truth finds him, went to 24-7 championship, and then during Money in the Bank, have Truth run around Titan Towers trying to have oh. all the other jobbers win it during Money in the Bank because that would be something. I, I don't know. I'm just... I heard as well they were, gonna, they were thinking of doing both of the matches live, like the women's and the men's. Like no, the it's, not, it's, not, at the it's not live. Time. Like a match oh, they did. at the same time. did, apparently. They already recorded it. It's already been done and recorded. They've and already done possible. it and it I mean, was like, on the at the same time. time. How is that even possible? Don't like, know. Well, I guess we have to find out on <laughs> I guess we have to find out next Sunday, I guess. <laughs> oh, uh, painful. Interesting. I'm quite excited for it, actually, because I just I can't wait to see how chaotic it's going to be. I love the chaoticness. This is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting. I kind of like beca- I kind of like it because because of the virus is made events sit down and think of other ways to entertain us. Like this idea, I can't. When I first heard of it, I was just like, "Ah!" It's like on top of Titan Towers. What? And thinking nothing else. But it's like eh, it's better than it being a performance center like WrestleMania was. But I'm still I'm upset still about. Angry about it. I'm about still mad about it. So it's been a month, and I'm still I'm pretty s- angry. I'm still. Per- You're angry. If you guys did not know, <laughs> listeners, you guys did not know, Jesse was actually supposed to come out here to Florida. I was supposed uh, to meet her. We were supposed to get drunk together. But <laughs> no, that didn't happen. And I'm still mad about it. I am still <laughs> mad. <laughs> We've, got uh, We've got time. Apparently, there might not be a, a WrestleMania next year. Apparently, there might not be a WrestleMania next year. Again, it's 2022. Uh, WrestleMania again? I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready for it. My body's they're ready. Fi- they're find a way. They'll put it on the beach or something. They'll put it on the beach and everyone else can just watch around. <laughs> bash on the beach. WrestleMania yeah. bash on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to go to California. California is California. Oh God. There'll be beach balls everywhere. Oh God. 
Yes, let's do it. <laughs> booked it. We've booked it. That's it. Next That's bit. it. We booked it. Beach we booked it. Coming. California. Oh. <laughs> That does it for this week's episode of the Smack Dog. If you want to keep across everything we do, all of our social medias are at TWM Wrestle. We've got stuff from WWE, NXT, AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, British Wrestling, International Wrestling, so much freaking wrestling. <laughs> See, what is your social media? Mine is Watches Jess on Twitter. Of course, you can find me at Smiley Baby Boo. That's Smiley, not B A B Y Boo on Twitter. Trust me, I talk a whole lot of freaking. Thank you for listening to us. Now, I will not be. I will not be here next week. No, no, no. no. Me and Jesse will not be here next week because we'll be taking over Monday Night Raw reviews. You can now catch me on Tuesdays. Me and Jesse will talk about Monday Night Raw. That should be fun. So, Jesse, I shall see you next week. They done messed up and gave us another show. 